Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today is a great day because today I'm going to show you how to design an all on four case completely modeless. Correct. You heard correctly. Designing an all on four case completely modeless without ever making a model. This is part one of a two part series. And in the first part, in the part one, I'm going to concentrate on the file management, how to organize a file, how you align the files to be successful for your entire process. As you know, everything stands and falls with the file management, how you organize the files, how you align everything correctly, so you get the best outcome in the end. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up. That helps the channel and I can make videos like this for you in the future. Without further ado, let's go to the video. Okay, in the beginning, we're going to start with the order form. I'm going to select the first two, so it's part of the design. I'm going to click Anatomic Wax Up and Seconia in this case, and it doesn't really matter what you choose. Screw Retained. I have a scan body scan available. Yes, I'm designing it digitally, and I want to design the ginger as well. I also have a pre-up model, so I'm selecting this. Then I click OK and holding control, I select all the other T's and then I'm going to select the first Pontic site. Usually what's going to happen is that everything what you selected in the anatomic wax up is pre-selected. So all I do is click OK here. Again, control. I select digital scan because I have a digital files here. I select the shade and click save to be able to import all the scans go to images and documents to be able to import the scans and usually i drag them into exocad click design and now i can import all the scans one by one the important thing here is when you align or orientate the model is make sure if you have a lower arch that it is kind of a U shape. Click next here. In this case, the antagonist is a little bit offset, so I am right clicking on it, click on correct antagonist and move it a little bit to have the correct occlusion. This I'm going to save out as a byte scan. And you will see later why this is important. So the upper and lower arch is going to be a byte scan. Yes, the same orientation. Now I'm going to start with the aligning. The scan body scan, the iOS scan body scan is completely not aligned. So go to tools, align meshes. And here, what we're going to do is first, I'm going to move it to the side, of course, and then I'm going to find similar points. The doctor did a really nice job scanning the cases here. I have a lot of tissue to align, so I'm going to find similar points click on that usually i pick like five or six points on a scan body scan best fit matching and get out there now this is my pre-up scan again i'm going to go to tools and to align meshes this part is a little bit tricky or can be a little bit tricky if you don't have enough reference points in this case i do have enough reference points but in part two, I'm going to show you how you align the pre-op model if you do not have enough reference points. That is going to be part of part two, so stay tuned for the next video. Next, I have to align the antagonist. I'm going to click on Tools, Align Meshes. First thing, I'm going to move the antagonist out of the way. I'm going to close the alignment, and I'm going to go again to Tools, and in this time, I'm going to add a mesh. I'm going to add a generic mesh. And I'm going to choose the byte scan that I originally created. So here, I'm going to go to Align Meshes, move the byte scan first out of the way so I have good view on everything. And now I start aligning it. The important thing is, again, find reference points, find enough reference points so you, you can have a good alignment. Best fit matching. I get out here and now I can do the upper. Again, align meshes, 
find enough reference points you have so you have a good alignment available and once you're done you can get out there and what you don't need anymore you don't need the byte scan anymore so what you can do is you can go to remove the mesh and this was a generic mesh so i'm going to remove it I click ok and then it's gone and that helps with the database it helps with the data so the file doesn't get so full this is an ios scan if you would align your scan bodies or your references to this that doesn't work so you have to take this OptiSplint scan body scan and scan it in your desktop scanner an intro all scanner does not have enough accuracy so i scanned it in in a desktop scanner and i brought it in now as an, another mesh but i have to align it first so i have to bring it in the correct position if i would just import it as another scanflex scan i wouldn't have the position so the first thing is that's the important part i have to align it to this position so usually i'm going to pick a couple of um, points here to align it really good click best fit matching um, and then both scans are perfectly aligned so the desktop scan OptiSplint scan is aligned in the same position as the interall scan so i'm going to export this now as a new scan flex scan get it numbered and have it in the same position so this part now i don't need anymore but what i need to do is i need to go to import new scan marker scan and when i click load it will give you a warning and say yeah this mesh already exists because i already have the ios scan but anyway click yes here and import the file that you just exported and the new imported scanflex scan is in the same position as the ios scanflex scan everything is aligned and i hope you like this video in part two i'm going to show you how to design it don't forget to subscribe and i'm going to see you in part two thank you for watching